I'm going to be driving along this road and I'm going to be pointing out some hazards. Um, I'm going to be doing commentary driving. So this is quite good to get you alert, to look out for hazards or any developing hazards. Um, this video can also help you in your theory um, test. So as I'm driving along, along this road, I'll be pointing out hazards. Not every hazard, but some of the hazards that I come on along or some developing hazards. So, starting now, as I can see ahead, the road seems to be clear, but there's a little bit of a dip in the road, and there's a warning sign ahead as well, which is warning me that's the junction on the left. So I need to make sure that I check my mirrors here to make sure nobody's overtaking. If I need to stop, I can stop in good time. Okay, I can see there's a junction there now on the left, and it's clear, so I can continue still being cautious around. And a little bit further, I can see uh, there's a cyclist right in the distance there. You might not be able to just see them yet in the video. Uh, there's another sign there coming up on the left, which is a warning sign telling me that the road, uh, windy road coming ahead. And another warning sign a bit further, as you can see, just past the brow of the hill here, warning me that there's a bend to the left. And another one there, horse riders. So you can see the cyclist now coming up there on the left. So I need to check my mirrors here, centre and left, leaving a good room as I pass the cyclist, and then check my mirrors, centre and left, coming back in. Okay, we're coming up to the bend now, here, and need to maintain a good speed, but not too quick, and checking my mirrors as well, just in case I do need to slow down after this bend, in case there's any other hazards. And as I'm going around the bend, it seems to be clear, so I can check my mirrors and just increase my speed, keeping it at the speed limit, which is the national speed limit on this road, 60 miles an hour, as it's a single carriageway. And I need to maintain a good distance from the car in front. It's two seconds in the dry and four seconds in the wet. As it's damp, I'm gonna leave four seconds just to be cautious. So uh, I can see now we're coming up to a roundabout and there's a warning sign that there's a junction on the right before the roundabout as well so i need to be cautious there at the roundabout i'm going to be going straight on which is the second exit so the on this roundabout it tells me that i need to be in the left hand lane to go straight on so check the mirrors keep to the left don't need to indicate yet because i'm going straight on as i approach the roundabout i'm going to gear down into second gear so if it's clear I can carry on as i'm approaching the roundabout it's not clear the car in front's not gone, so I'm going to stop behind the car, handbrake up, keep an eye out to the right, I've got it in first gear, and it's clear, and off I go. So now checking my mirror centre and left, indicating left, coming off to the left, and then I'm on new road, so check all mirrors again. Right, now approaching this next, there's a turn on the left, so the junction, Keep an eye out, there's no vehicles coming out. And the road bends to the right, so it seems to be clear as far as I can see. And I'm checking my mirrors because I've got another speed sign coming up. It's 40 mile an hour road coming up ahead, so I need to check my mirrors and then make sure it's at 40 before I pass the sign. Okay, so the road now is quite narrow and it bends to the left. So maintaining just under 40 miles an hour and keeping a good distance from the car in front. At the next roundabout, I'm going to be going straight on, which is the second exit. And on this roundabout, the roundabout tells me I need to be in the right-hand lane to go straight on. So I'm in the right, I'm checking my mirrors, indicating left just after the first exit. And then as I come off, I check all my mirrors again. Okay, I'm going straight on here. And I can see there's a car showroom garage on the left, some traffic lights coming ahead, a bus stop on the right, a junction on the right, and this lane widens up a little bit. And there's a bus stop on the left as well, and there's a junction on the right as well. So there's a lot going on around here, so you just need to be observant and making sure that you take into consideration of any developing hazards in front of you. Okay, so I've stopped behind this car, keeping a good distance so I can see the tyres of that car on the tarmac. So in case that car breaks down, I can go around comfortably. 
Okay, check in all my mirrors because the traffic lights have changed. And handbrake off, and off we go. Traffic lights approaching a green, so we can carry on here. And scanning down the road, making sure if there's any other developing houses I'm looking at. There's a petrol station on the left, it seems to be quiet. There's no cars coming in and out of the petrol station on the left. There's also another petrol station on the right. Doesn't seem to be any cars coming in and out here. It seems clear. It's still 40 miles an hour at the moment. However, a bit further, the speed limit changes to 50 miles an hour. So before I increase my speed, I need to check my mirrors to make sure no one's overtaken. And when I do increase speed, it needs to be after the speed sign. And now I can increase safely to 50 miles an hour. Still making sure I've got this reasonable distance from the car in front of me. And I can see now the road bends to the left. And it's a two lane over here, so I'm going to keep to the left on the lane here. Because I'm not overtaking and I'm not turning right. So it would be more convenient for other road users for me to stay on the left. Okay, and there's a sign here telling me that the road narrows and it narrows from the right. So I'm assuming it goes back now into one lane, which it does. So I need to make sure there's no other cars that are trying to overtake or get around me. The speed limit now drops to 30 miles an hour, so check my mirrors. Reduce to 30 before the sign. Okay, there's a junction on the left, there's a car waiting to come out, and it's just come out. So maintaining a good distance from the car in front that's just pulled out. And then checking down the road to make sure it's clear. I can see some pedestrians waiting at the bus stop. And a few other um, could be developing hazards, there's just lots of junctions on the left. I can see more pedestrians further down the road. Uh, quite a busy road. So yeah, basically this is um, you wonder what you're going to be doing when you're driving or on your hazard perception on your video. You want to be looking right down the road and scanning for hazards. The sooner you see that hazard, the longer, the more time you have to act on it. So rather than looking immediately in front of you, look well ahead. Okay, I hope this video helped. Uh, please don't uh, forget to subscribe if you already haven't. And a uh, big thumbs up. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.